Hi there, welcome to a new episode of our Transport Fever Transportation Empire. We will continue today, so I'll get time ticking. We are right where we left off last time. We've set up a small tram system in our city of Rotterdam. Our trains are still driving in and out of the city. And, well, here we have our big circle trains. One of the things I would like to do is set up a secondary railway system so we can have trains move both ways. Um, and slowly we will start setting that up. We will start setting it up between Rotterdam and Venendaal. And that's pretty easy to do, uh, especially in a station like this. You just get to your train tracks and you can put them straight next to your other train, tra tra train track. So that is really nice, I really like that. And in this manner you can, pretty cheap, because it's much cheaper than building the original one, you can just make it a double track. And on that track trains will just go the other way, and we will make them go the other way. So yeah, I like that, I like that. Alright, can I do something about that land? up to the terrain but can't just lower it with the track on it which is a problem I want to do that at some point just not now then guess I'll also have to check how to do that so we ran out of money ain't a problem we got a bit back already as you can see train still moving on are we getting close to Rotterdam not really a long way to go but when it's done it will look and you can just start anywhere. So I can just start here now and say, yes, I want it like that. Well, then we have a piece of double track. Not using it already, but that's okay. So I'll probably borrow up a little bit more money. That's the max we can borrow right now. But that means we can finish this up rather quick. And perhaps already set up an extra line or an extra train. Which is something I would like trains the more money could come in I'm not saying it will come in could come in so here we have a problem as you can see because there's already a track in the way now that track is gone let's set it up like this now could just delete it entirely and set it up like this all right so will help trains to get across from there all the way to this track so that's nice there's a new train driving so we have the first piece of secondary track completed as you can see all the way down there now what I'd like to do every time is make two crosses in it so if something happens trains can just get across and it's a perfect place to put up signs so you just do it like this now, if anything comes up, trains can get across, can get to the other track, you've put up signs there, and now, even if trains are driving behind each other, they don't have to wait, which is good because of the signs. So we'll put up one more cross somewhere here, closer to that station, so here, and then, ooh, let's get away with the smoke, and then everything is perfectly as I want it. So that's nice. Yes, that's done. Set up the signing. All right, let's continue making the double track. And we will be using it to have a train just drive the other way around. All right, let's put it up a little bit more like this. So we can really see from the top what we are building and if it is still going straight along the track where we want it. And as of now it is. That's looking good. I don't know if there's a tool to do this faster. Probably not. So this can be tricky when you have to cross a road again. Sometimes it doesn't work if you set up a secondary line. This time it does work. If it doesn't work, just destroy that piece of road and connect it later. Usually that works. So instance here, oh here it still works as well, so don't have to use it, but 
Sometimes it can be a trouble such a crossing. Just delete the road because that's cheaper. Cheaper. Then complete the rail and everything will be fine. So we have to set up two crosses again. Well, we don't have to, I just like to. Sometimes it's a bit hard to do that. Yes, it works. Always check if rails are correct. Sometimes they are not, and that can be a problem. As you can see now, rails are correct. Train passing by. Perfect. Let's find the second spot for a cross. Do it somewhere like here. Let's put it in the landscape. Yes. Too much slope, so that's a problem you can get. You can either try and or just destroy it and place it a little bit further. Usually that's uh, exactly what what's needed and what works. Sometimes not, but usually that's it. And let's put up the signs. And now this is completed as well. So, three of our stations are connected, let's continue. And as you can see, with all this building we are losing a bit of money, but not too much. And it keeps coming in, which is nice. And well, when we are done with this, and we have extra trains running, we should be getting in quite a bit of extra money. So, I usually believe it's really worth it. Let's start from the side now. I don't know if we have the money for that bridge yet. Alright, so it's coming up close together now. Let's try if we have the money for that. Oh, we do. Perfect. Well, look at that nice bridge. It's a nice steel bridge on which our trains can run real smooth. Well, just one piece of track to go. And we will be all done. We are out of money, however, so... As you can see, we did quite the construction. And if we hadn't do that, hadn't done that, we would have made money, so... We're going in the right direction. Let's keep doing this. And, well... Soon build some extra trains, because that's something we can use as well. Especially, we should check on our stations. You can see train just left and there's still 45 passengers waiting so if you have a train moving the other way and they get in at the same time still all passengers would get out so that could really help and that could really be a good thing all right not a year over lost some money because of construction so nothing to worry about just continue then save money for a stream let's check Alright, so let's set up a new line and now put it the other way around. So we'll start here and go to there. Here. Then go here. So now we have one the other way around. No trains on it yet, have to save money for that. But should be able to get a train pretty fast. Especially if money keeps flowing in. Let's hope it does. Well, speed is as fast as we can, so not really much we can do about that right now, but... I really hope at some point they will make the game more stable and can make it to run a little bit faster. And add an extra speed option for that, because sometimes now it's just... Well, it takes a lot of your patience. Which is usually okay, I mean, it's a nice game and I don't mind waiting a bit for it, but, well, it just could go a little bit faster. Of course, we could take this train for Mars and see one of our trains turned around. That's not supposed to happen. Why is that? That should be still complete. They're all going the other way around now. 
Why is that? He's heading to Rotterdam. Turn around. You should turn around. He's going the right way. That's interesting. But there's something went wrong. And now we have two trains closely behind each other, so let him wait a while. Probably one of those trains had to wait a little while and decided to turn around, which is not supposed to happen. Well, let's set up a cross here, since we still need to do that. Put up signs. Perfect. That should also solve the problem. Oh, now it just continues, so that's good, that's good. This will make us lose a bit more money, because we're not making money with those trains, but... Well... It'll all be solved soon. This train should turn around and use Line 4 now. Go to Rotterdam... And just use Line 4. Should get moving again. Get into that station. So he's getting into the city, he's moving, he's moving, that's good, that's good. Looks better now. Let's delete this line. Let's not use it for a while. Let's turn around to you, train. You need to. Cross here as well because we do need another cross. But we don't have money for that. Ah, that could be the issue. One train driving the wrong way. And then everything just stalling. One's going there. It's here. I'm missing one train, ain't I? Waiting for a free path. Where is he? Right there. Oh, he will get a free path as soon as the other train comes here. It's annoying. But that's what's happening. That's why I should have built that cross before. But now we can't. So. This is what happens if you just switch out lines and, and think you are doing a smart thing. You could be doing the wrong thing, so they're all waiting now for a free track. Which could be uh, nice anyway. Let's just keep him on hold until he can drive again. Now he can switch to the right track. Should be interesting to see. Should switch to the outer one. And he does, that's good. So now he will just start going again. And once he has arrived and moves again, we will put that train on the go. Then after a little while, put that train on the go. And then we could start making money again. Oh, I'm so sorry about this. It shouldn't happen on stream, but... Well, maybe it's good people see that just screw up and everyone can make a mistake. Ah, we have a new train. It's a rather expensive one, but could be interesting. So let's wait till he moves. Alright. He can go as well now. And let's just... This one waiting a little bit. Now he can go again. And... Well, as soon as we start making money, we can save up. And now they're all one station apart, so we can put in an extra train on that track. That could be interesting as well. And as you see, this one is making money already, so... Well, this was making money until I had to stop them. It's probably the case with all trains, but that's okay. 
as we can see we have a little minus now but with this train it's small minus and we should be able to get it in the green pretty fast our trams are making money and our trains should be making money quite soon as well especially when they all arrive in their stations this one is full this one is full this one is full so they should all be making money but we'll see we'll see all right he made money that's good that's good will this be a year in which we make money See, we had a completely failure, complete failure one here. A very low income. I mean, we have made much more, so should be a better year. And the year still takes a little while, so that's good. Line four, twenty-nine passengers, so we. So be almost full, which is good. Interesting. Sometimes you just have to be a bit patient with this game. But in the end it will work out. just have to wait and make some money and once we do that we can pay our our debt and get new trains running it ain't the best start I've ever had I mean I've tried a few games and, and, and usually it takes like three four years and then you start really making money well I did try to do it differently this time so that's probably the cause of all this and yeah I'm sorry about that I really wish it went better. Should go better now. Can't make any more money, so that's a little problem. But yeah, right now... It should be fixed. Let's check. Now we have two lines in the green for now, so we should be making money this month. At least the train lines aren't costing me money. Let's see at the end of this year. So what will we be doing in the future? Probably when we start making money and we have this decently set up, we will go connect other cities and make maybe other circles of connections again. So we could do a circle here with a few towns and have the trains drive by. So we'll have to see how we can do that and of course we have to start Connecting goods and get the goods to the cities. Get the goods to the cities, they will start growing faster. Also, growing city means more passengers, which is good. So, there are all kinds of things we can do in the future. Uh, but, considering the fact that you need money to do anything, you have to wait a little while. But, we are making a little bit of money, which is really nice. So, Let's keep up that good work. Let's keep making money. It's full. It's full. So we have two full trains. I'm not sure. Is there a way you can just get a list? Of, yeah, there's a list of vehicles. Well, if we sort them by type, we can see all our trains are full. Which is good. We have four full trains. I like that. Trams is always hard to m keep making the money, but well, they try. And they're only costing us very little amounts of money. So many making money, which is good. So let's just keep them going. And then this could quite well be the first year we really make some money. I mean. The numbers are green yet. Perfect. Coming.
coming in there, another one coming up. I think we are doing decent green numbers now. 250,000 yet in the green. So, in a little while, we can start making money. passengers here so well not all for line one so it won't be a full train but good and as we can see those lines are making quite a bit of money and these will start making money in the future no problem and I'm back after my little break at the door so let's just continue this episode for a little while and see if we can get into the green numbers. That would be amazing, don't you think? I like how these towns develop and the beauty of such a small town. It's, it's really looking nice. As you can see, there are passengers waiting in different stations, which is good. Oh, even this could turn into the green at some point. Really interesting. And I really like like these curved stations. They're so nice. Wonder why the game developers didn't think of that because it just looks so good. Let's see, almost 30% coverage. It's decent. Of course you want more, but it's decent. Still in the green numbers, two months, green numbers, and we're almost out of debt. And as you know, the tracks are done, so we just need to add a few trains. Now trains are expensive. I mean, if you go check, this one is real expensive, but this is also expensive, and we need one of those and six of those. Or oh, six of those. This has eight passengers, six passengers, but it's only two passengers extra, but running cost, but it has higher speed, so probably make us more money. So we'll have to see, maybe we should just save money and set up these f for our trains to switch out. And check what that costs. So one train costs 1.15 million. But we have to gain quite a lot of money. But if we do it like this, those trains will switch out immediately after their lifespan is full. Well, that could be interesting. Let's set it up here as well. So now once the train's lifespan is full, it will switch out 12 years. The question is, how long does that train normally last? 30 years, alright, so only, not even halfway, so we can set it up, but we can still add a few trains once we have the money, that's okay. Everything's in the green. I love it. That means we're making money, and we are. Money, listening to nice music. Love this game. First thing to do is probably add a train on line four. This one. Let's 
so we get the frequency down, more passengers will come on. And I do believe line 4 has the most passengers waiting, at least in them. Here as well, so yeah, it should be line 4. We should then just check where line 4 is and then see what we can do. So, another month in the green. We have to pay, pay 100 in, de in loan, so interest, so when we can, we should pay a bit of our loans and yeah get that loan interest down save us more money so we can even make more money each month so we need six carriages of a hundred thousand six hundred thousand so we need 700,000 and a little bit more to get a new train. So we need to save up a little. Ready on speed tree, so nothing to do there. There comes the train. There's another one. Full. Problem. Attract more passengers, only 10% coverage there. So, these towns really need to grow. And it probably helps with this tram system. We should check if we see people coming off the tram and then going into the station. I even wonder if you can see that, I'm not sure. People going from the station to the tram station. We see that. Apparently, yes. So that's rather interesting. It's rather interesting, it's really interesting. Well, we're getting decent green numbers now. It's another year over. We're not going to repay our loans yet, we're gonna put it into an extra train. Here we have the train with line 4, so as soon as we can we will put up this new train. Send them also over to line 4, make us extra money. You can see our trains are making money. If we take the list, every train is making money, especially the one on line 4, so... Should really get him on. It's January. So this month should be enough if we keep up the income we have, should be enough to buy that train. Let's not do it yet, because if it stays in storage for a few months, we'll have to pay money for it anyway. Which would be a waste, so let's not get it already. Let's wait with that. Not a full train leaving, perfect. Bit of a waiting game, but... can start buying that train. Just need to save money for one more carriage. And once we have that, I will put it on the track. Could be nicely because he's coming close towards Mars, which is halfway. If we put it on, then it could be nice. But we still have to make quite a bit of money to assure that, so we'll wait and see if it goes that way. But it would really be great if we could. So there's a train coming in in the north, there's one coming in. Perhaps, perhaps. It would be nice if we could loan a bit extra money, but. I doubt it will be put in soon. Ooh, almost enough. Almost isn't enough. As you can see, this ain't enough. 2,000 more. Come on. Bring us the money. Two trains coming in again, so that could do it. 
but also cost go up, so these trains need to make a little bit of money. Come on guys, get in. Bring me that money. Yes, and there he goes, perfect. So, extra train running. Real nice. And he can immediately almost go with a full train. That would be lovely. Full train, perfect. And they're spread out not completely evenly, but it looks close, so that's good. This will be making us quite the money. So, let's end this episode here. I had a really nice time. I liked it. It uh, was a bit of a waiting game, we did some looping around, and in my head I have all these ideas of things I want to do when we were really making money. So, I hope to see you again in the next episode. If you thought, well, this one was a bit boring, you're completely right, so I'll probably cut out a few pieces, uh, but we'll see. Thanks for watching, give me a thumbs up if you like it, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.